Hello there. What? What's up, my head staff? Welcome to my channel. Anybody still coming down from that moody high we got last week? Because <laughs> I am. I am still riding that cloud nine. I've rewatched that moment, I don't know how many times, probably too many that I should have. You know what, before we get into any of it, let me know if you're here in the live chat, let me know how many times you've rewatched that scene. If you're not here during the live chat, comment down below a number of how many times you've seen it. It was beautiful. That episode was absolutely immaculate. I love Amity's new look, and I'm just like super excited to see what else their relationship brings and how else it develops for the rest of the season. With that being said, before we get into this reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts where I do post art and other cool stuff. I post comics and all, all kinds of awesome stuff. I have like original characters, I draw a lot of Catradora. Check it out. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to the newest episode, episode six, Hunting Palisman. Now, Dana is usually post a little sneak drawing about what it's gonna be about, and it was a picture of Gigi, the one and only, but his mask was off and his back was turned to us. Now, there has been a spoiler of his face already being revealed. Field, so we kind of already know what he's gonna look like if you've seen that spoiler. I have, unfortunately, I couldn't avoid that one. But that being said, I'm still really excited to see him completely unmasked if that is what we're getting this episode and to learn more about him. So you know what? Let's just get into it. Let's go. Fire. Oh, oh, it's the masters. It's the, the heads, the heads of the covens. We saw this, we saw a little bit of this. Where we'll celebrate the purification of magic under the coven system. Just as the Titan intended, as heads of the- Just as the Titan intended. Is this facts? Is this something the Titan really did want? Or is this something Belos? Ah, screw it, I'm still gonna call him Belos, I just love it. Um, or is it something that Belos has like manipulated everyone into thinking this is what the Titan wanted? Questions, we'll probably get answers later. Moving, hold on, actually I'm just gonna stop here. Look at how awesome these guys look. I, I feel, I, I gotta say, Abomination dude, my favorite. I just love the look. I absolutely love that look. It is chef's kiss. Wait, side note, why does that one look like an older perfume? <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. That's what their little amulets do. Also, serious note though, holy crap, what's gonna go down? The larger your covenant's crew. Wait, whoa! I mean, I'm sure I, I keep pausing and I'm sure he's gonna explain it just now, but I just wanna see that back. Hold on. So he's giving them a vision of what is to come of this unification and purification thing. So is this showing, is this showing the idea of what they want to happen, of what, of what Belos wants to happen? Or is this showing what is going to happen? Like, is this a, a future vision? So it looks like Boiling Isles through, the, through the, the Titan's head and whatever the hell they're doing, they're gonna transport to the human world or their worlds are gonna combine or they're gonna build this in the, in Bowensboro, like, whoa. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm just a little uncertain about 100% what this is implying. If this is what they hope for, or if this is what is going to come. Either way, this is some crazy shit. Okay. The larger your covenants grow, the more power we have to unite our realms. Where the worthy shall inherit a utopia free of wild magic. <laughs> okay. So where one of them is going to inherit this place of free of wild magic. Okay, what is his deal with wild magic? He is so against it. And a place free of wild magic, that's the human realm, right? That's what he's implying. That's what I'm gonna take from it. You guys might be taking something different. That's what I'm taking from it. Also, he's hurting right now. You need some more of that palace with magic, my bro. Considering you're probably not completely witch. <laughs> probably human. No, stay here. I can handle this alone. Mm. I love it. I love that we already knew Kiki and Gigi were gonna be like against each other. Like, who wants to be the bigger kiss ass? Kiki jealous. That's okay, because I don't like her anyway. What the fuck? What? Hold on. We're rewinding that. I just, I couldn't even pause it. I was just like, what the hell is going on? Whoa. Okay. What? Okay, so Mass falls, he's transforming 
jumping into whatever the fuck that is. Okay, now we need to pause here. So, my number one theory, which I was hoping for, is that he's a human. This kind of fucks with that idea. Although, not necessarily. He could still be human. Maybe he's like Ida. Maybe he fucked around with some wild magic. I mean, Ida didn't fuck around with wild magic. She was cursed. But maybe he did something that cursed him, and now he's dealing with whatever the heck this is, where it transforms him into some kind of freaking mud demon shit. Like, what the hell is going on? Okay, wow, holy crap. Okay, so he's got whatever the hell this is going on. Yo, you need to go to like a CVS or some shit to take care of that stuff. Ooh. What is he? There he goes. Smell that shit up. I need more. Okay, so maybe the palisman magic is what keeps this shit at bay. Kind of like the elixir like helps Ida with her owl curse thing. I wonder if that's what it is or if it's keeping him alive, keeping him, you know, whatever. Either way, palisman magic is really helping this dude out with whatever it is he's going through. And that seems like some serious shit. That was the last from our reserves. Ooh. The palace from wood has been over harvested. <laughs> Uncle, let me help. Did you say uncle? Whoa, hold on, hold on. Uncle? You're his nephew? Oh, wait. Mm, well, hold on, hold on. Please, be careful. Our family is gone because of wild magic. I can't let the same happen to you. Okay, so they are related? Whoa, okay, so... Mm, hold on, this is like changing a lot of things. So... Is he really his uncle or is it one of those things where like he like kind of adopted him and he like just calls him uncle? But he did just say our family. So what does he mean by that? Does he mean the Coven family? Does he mean their actual bloodline family? Oh shit. And whatever happened to them had to do with wild magic, which is why he hates wild magic so much. Okay, this is coming together. I love this. Let's keep going. I can depend on you. Stupid. Wait, do we get Amity's new look now? Tell me we get Amity's new look. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Where's she at? Ah! Look at her. Oh my goodness. What a beauty. Look at baby. Look at her glow. Literally. Oh, you look fantastic, Amity. That new hair looks so cute on her. I absolutely love it. So she is keeping the red tights. I mentioned this way before when we saw it in the previews. I was like, is that her new look with the red and everything? Some people were saying it was like her library, working at the library uniform, but I knew it was her new look. I love the red. And we've got a new necklace. It looks like a, a moon. It... Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Two things about this moon thing now, now that I'm noticing her necklace. So, in the trailer, we saw the slightest, slightest glimpse of this of this hooded character with a moon for its face and moon and stars and shit going around it. Is that you? Bitch. Oh my god, is that Amity? This you? This you, bro? I think it is. I think this is a little bit of foreshadowing that. Also, there was a drawing that Dana did during the quarantine. I'm gonna pop it in right now. Look at Amity's mask. Dana is huge on foreshadowing and sneaking things into her art and stuff like that. So I don't think this is a coincidence. She might be that hooded character. And if that's the case, oh, 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 hit boy. Anyway, love you. Keep doing you. Excited to see you again. Here we go. Everybody now. Oh, her little mouse. Oh, little Echo Mouse. I need the diary that can get me home. Just squeeze it out. <laughs> <laughs> now that we know that King is just like an eight-year-old child, literally, I just love him so much more. Like his his personality makes so much sense now. All right, I guess you won't be getting a magic staff. Want that blazer? Your classmates. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we gotta fly. Lou said, "Zoom!" Oh my God, what are what are her and Emily gonna say to each other? Shouldn't Emily be here? Oh, sorry, Luce. I heard she stayed home today. Oh. <laughs> what? Why you didn't put Amity in this episode. We have other things that are very important to the storyline that we need to learn about and see. I get it. However, why? <laughs> I'm so excited to see their interaction after the... Anybody else sad about this? Ah! 
<laughs> Fine, Emmy stayed at home. Of course she did. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, that actually makes sense. Oh! <laughs> quick emotional transition. Luce goes from like being excited cause she's like, ooh, I get it. Like she's all nervous and shit about it, you know? And she's like totally thinking back to what happened in the last episode. But then she's like, oh damn, but that means I won't see her. <laughs> like we've all been there. <laughs> I feel you Luce, I'm sorry. In my case. Holy time. Free one here helps me see. What? Pantene commercial. Look at this foo! Look at that. Look at that. Oh, luscious and silky. Rapunzel ain't got nothing on your shit, bro. Also, his little talisman character is hilariously cute. Okay, but what happened to Bump? Like, he's got a big ass scar coming down this side and his eye is missing. I wonder what happened to him. But also, damn, bro, you fabulous. I love you. I was not expecting Bump to look like that. Holy shit. Sadly, palestrum trees are becoming more rare. And no, thanks to Balos, you dick. That's why I've teamed up with Bumpy Poo. Never call me that. To bring you. Hey! Bat Queen! I missed you! Adoption Day! Ooh. You know what they look like? Y'all remember Neopets? <laughs> That's totally what I'm seeing right now. I used to have one. They're probably dead by now. Thanks for the favor, BQ. Here's your whistle, sir. Save it for another time. This was my pleasure. We're gonna need that whistle at another time, aren't we? Hang on to that whistle, Ida. There's some shit coming. Hey, we know you. We know you from the trailer. Ooh, is that gonna be Luce's? Hmm, that would be a little obvious. Let's just see, let's see where it goes. But we know this little bird. I want my own talisman, not some trashy hand-me-down. You're lost. <laughs> I want to be strong and wise to protect everyone I love. And if anyone gets in my way, they'll feel the sting of defeat. Tending it tenacious. Oh! oh my gosh! Oh, so cute! Oh my god. Also, I'm so happy to see Rilla has healed up well. <laughs> but oh, look at her little palace, man. So cute! I love it. And I missed Willow. I'm glad we could see her again. <gasps> oh! Okay. This is pretty cool. I'm sorry. We are getting a blushing Basha. Wow! So she can get flustered. All right, I'm here for it. So instead, I'll become an ambassador to the human realm and reestablish contact with the giraffes. <laughs> with the giraffes. Oh, this is cute. Welcome back to graduation. I love it. I want to be a witch. just takes a little longer because i'm human right palace man bond through emotion i do not sense any conviction from you what that's impossible i'm loose i'm chock full of conviction yeah would you still train to be a witch in the human room can you even do magic there oh these are all very good questions that even i didn't really <laughs> even consider okay so is she not gonna get a palace man because of this oh but, but we saw that bird. That bird means something. So we're going to see more of that bird. Maybe like eventually she gets that bird because he's a little rascal and stuff like she is. But this is kind of sad. Oh my gosh. What if a palisman doesn't match with it? This is so sad. I stayed here because I wanted to learn magic, right? I want to be a witch like Ida and Azura. We got her new look, baby. I love this new look. Are these like, is this going to be her clothes? Or is this like just her PJs? I mean, it is nighttime now. So are these her new PJs? Or is this like her new outfit for real? Either way, I dig it. I kind of hope it's her new outfit. I really like it as much as I love the, the cat hoodie. Uh, I just dig this look. I don't know why. It's so fashionable. Just, I love it. The main character always has to return home. And what? Like, did I expect to be a witch back in Connecticut? You're from Connecticut? Wait, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. That is where Luce is from? She's from Connecticut? That is like the most random state you could have picked. You know what? That was probably the point. They, they were probably like, what's the most random state she could live in? Lucy's from Connecticut! Wow, I did not 
seen this coming. I don't know why I was thinking like maybe Chicago or Atlanta, you know, places like that. I would have never, even Ohio maybe, I would have never in a million years guessed Connecticut. I would have gotten that question wrong on a freaking game show. Nope. I wouldn't want to be my palisman either. Oh, you'll get one. See? Can I just say I love that she sleeps with four different pillows? Cause like I'm literally the same. I I mean not here. This is a this isn't our home. This is I'm still traveling around and stuff because we've been moving. But in my room back in California, I slept with a giant body pillow, three regular pillows, and then two small pillows. So I feel that. Okay, so that bird isn't for her. It's just probably gonna be on this little adventure. How are we supposed to get through this. What if I open a magic pet shop, but it's password protected? Wow. Password. Your little angel. <gasps> oh shit! Coven! That's the coven! Don't worry, I'll figure this out. I love that. I love that you can use it anywhere. <gasps> Gigi! Love you, Gs. Oh, him again. Hmm. Hi! Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Is he whistling the theme song? Really? You little sneaks! He's totally whistling the theme song. Ugh, him again. <laughs> Talk about breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> I love that. Also, what are you doing? Huh? Bye, Gigi. That'll be fine. Okay, how do I land this thing? That'll be fine. Oh, you just pull that cord above your head. Oh, thank you. Hi. I love it so much. Hi. <laughs> I love the voice actor so much. You're so good, dude. I love the character that he brings to Gigi, Golden Guard, whatever. I absolutely love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, yes. Say, how did you get back on the ship so fast? Staff. Cool. Hmm? Cool. So smart. It'll take more than that to thwart my mission. Oh shit. Oh, this is the hand dragon thing. Oh shit. Oh, that thing don't play. Yeah, so maybe he's not gonna be her palisman, but he's definitely a new friend, which I love it. I love it. He's so cute. <gasps> yes. Kikimura, ma'am, we found the palisman. They seem rattled, but unharmed. Very good, Captain. Return to the city and prepare them for travel. Is the Golden God really? This is all that remains. I knew I didn't like this hoe! You little biznotch! I don't like you! Oh my god, I've never liked her! I don't, I don't like her that much more now! Wow! Mm -mm, I can't with her. I can't with her. I don't... Such a horrible accident. Fire. Probably caused by the incompetent pilot. She freaking Scouts. sent that dragon, didn't she? Is... Totally sent that dragon. You bitch. What did I just say? What did I just say? Yep. Excellent work, my pet. <gasps> there you are! Oh my god. He looks like so weathered. <laughs> like underpass weather. Baby! Why do you look so done with life? He he is literally the epitome of a millennial. <laughs> We're just so tired. He looks so tired. And can I just say, I love the tooth gap. I have, I don't know why I love characters and people who have it. I just think it's adorable. I am so happy he has one. Oh, he's so cute. But like, somebody please hug him. This is the golden guard. Right? You poor it baby. It looks like he could be a student at Hexide. What? What the <laughs> Why is she slapping? I love this. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Kiki Mora is trying to kill you, and unfortunately, I'm too nice to let that happen. <sighs> Are you licking my hand? I'm trying to help you. Oh my god, he's literally just a literally a teenage brat. I swear. Uh, we already knew this, but like, really? He like licks her hand? Stop. This is hilarious. Why should I believe you? <laughs> Sibling energy. <laughs> Is she a sucker punch, a giant ass spider? Damn, can you come to my house and kill all the bugs? Damn! Oh, it died! That was so funny! I wasn't expecting you to die! I have 
haven't been outside Bonesboro that much. But this hat is so cool. Wait, are those two gay? Where are you go? <laughs> Hold on. Am I just projecting? Or are these two in the background? In your mustache and a uh, cutie with glasses? Um, is this is this some homo shit going on? But this hat is so cool. Maybe. Cute. I didn't know kids your age were still into temporary tattoos. Yeah. Stan. Mm -hmm. No. Isn't it a little late for you kids to be outside? Yeah, go home before we call your parents. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. So does he not have regular magic that he can only that he only you can make it with his staff? That's the clip we saw. Okay. Come on, Golden Guard. Don't you know any like levitation spells? Are you powerless without this? He is. He is. Why though? Is he part human? I mean, if he is really family, that's a possibility. So Kiki Mora was after my catch. Seems like oh. neither of us wanted to win right now. So I definitely don't want to win together. Ever. Too slow. <laughs> wow. That was like the loosest thing she could have done. Oh, they're, they're gonna, like, grow to love each other, I swear. This is, like, total sibling energy. I'm here for it. I've never seen magic Yes, mist. we've seen what this. Do do? Combined with the magic mist, mm -hmm. it'll create... A sleep-inducing smoke. Or she's so smart! Oh, she's so smart! Oh, um, I, I, I read a similar spell in the book From Bones to Earth. A study of wild magic. You know once pickpocketed the guy who wrote it? Actually, not many people know this, but... No, 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 no. This stuff is restricted for a reason. Uh, okay, so what we can take from that. He is the same kind of a nerd. He's on the same nerd level as Luz when it comes to magic, wild magic, and spells and stuff like that. So I wonder if it's because he doesn't have like regular magic for some reason. They're going to bond over that. Eventually, I think throughout the episodes, we're going to get even more bonding between these two. And it's because they're going to have a lot in common. I'm a powerless witch. A lot of my ancestors were. Oh. I never thought I'd have a future in a world like this. But then, Bellows found me and gave me a staff with artificial magic. Ah, oh, whoa, okay. A few things to take from that. So he isn't actually related to Bellows. I said it right. So he isn't actually related, okay. But he does come from a line of witches that are powerless for some reason. That sucks, okay. But he gave him a staff that has artificial magic. So what I can take from this is Bellows, pretty sure he's human, has probably figured out a way to combine human tech and science with their magic to create this stuff. So we've got some more puzzle pieces filled in here. A little bit, a little bit. Aww. Stop, get away from me. These things are made from wild magic. It's dangerous. You know what? I know, I know that I refer to She-Ra a lot, but listen, this is giving me the same kind of ideas of the reason why the first ones in She-Ra were trying to control and contain the magic of Etheria. They thought wild magic, which is, I think it, it was the same thing, that's exactly what it was called, was dangerous. Now, I'm pretty sure we're gonna come to find that perhaps wild magic isn't dangerous and like wild magic is the balance that we need and stuff. But it's interesting that Bellos has convinced Gigi and everybody else that wild magic is bad and it's dangerous. I wonder if maybe Bellos just had a bad experience with it. You know, maybe that's why he's cursed with this, whatever the hell is wrong with him. But this is interesting, but it just gives me that same vibe and idea from she of trying to contain the wild magic when it's actually, when it actually just needs to be set free. Interesting, okay. Masks on. Yeah, yeah, look at them baddies. Are you sure? Okay, he's not gonna betray that trust. Okay. Yes, queen! Look how awesome that looks. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, don't do it. I didn't think this through again. Don't do it. So you're really gonna do this? You're just gonna hand all these innocent little guys over to Bellows? Nope. I know what he does with them. They thought you might have been a good guy, but I guess that was just wishful thinking. You're not my friend. You're just the golden guard. No, come on. Better than that, yeah. My name is Hunter. Oh, we got a name! Oh, his name's Hunter! Oh, ah, he was hunting Palisman. Play on words. Anyway, oh, his name's Hunter. I'm gonna miss calling him Gigi, but I will respectfully call him by his real name. Hunter! Oh, I don't know why I love that 
that was like such a soft moment finding out his name. Okay, we love you, Hunter. I love you. <laughs> oh shit! Mm -hmm. Listen, bitch! I know I got you. Hunt your ass out, please. For all of us. Yeah. And he let her go. I'm proud of you, Hunter. We'll see you again. What a doctor. You found someone after all this time. Go then. It's not loose. No. No, no, no. You're not going to lose. He's going to Hunter. I'm calling it right now. He is going to Hunter. He picked Hunter because he was all nuzzled up and cuddly with him. Nope. Yeah, I wasn't meant to be here. You'll find one. Yeah. I thought I'd find you here. We could have used the door. <laughs> what did you get into? Okay, it's done. Whoa. Uh, how thoughtful? It's palestrum from wood, you ding dong. Now you can make your own palisman. I knew it. I knew it. That red bird isn't for loose. He's going to hunt her. Number one. Number two. She's going to make her own. <gasps> I'm super excited for this. I can't even guess what her character little creature palisman guy is gonna be or girl i have no idea what it's gonna look like but i'm super excited to find out what she comes up with let's just say that the bonesboro garden club was robbed by us <laughs> i don't no pressure but whenever you know what you want we'll start partying oh it's gonna be a big deal it's gonna be a big thing in an episode when she comes up with it. I can see it now. I like some time to think. This is exciting. It's hard to picture my future without seeing my mom. Eh, there's no rush. Just know that what- I wonder if season two is gonna end with her figuring it out and like this big moment of carving it or something. All I know is the moment that she does figure it out and carves it, we're gonna feel that shit. Oh, I can already, I can already see it now. We gotcha. How cool is that? Thanks. That's awesome. And, and if you told me how wild magic did this to you, I might be able to find it. Okay, so wild magic did curse him or do something to him. And that's probably why he's so, you know what? Maybe that's why he became Emperor Balos. Okay, hear me out. What if all this time he was just surviving as a human. You know, if he really is that human, Philip would have been. Let's say he, he got to the Boiling Owls and was actually excited and, and really um, intrigued by this world. And by messing with wild magic was trying to get back to the human world, failed and instead got himself cursed with that shit. And then it changed him, corrupted him, did whatever, made him more desperate to get home and he became Emperor Balos to create this personification as a way of controlling everybody else, uh, abolishing wild magic, and, and being able to use the covens and everybody else to get more magic to get himself back home or to get to the human world, or now his new dream of combining the world, whatever. That I think that's what's going on here. That is my theory, guys. Let me know what you guys think. That's what I'm feeling. I think that's what's going on here. And also, don't be mean to Hunter. I will hurt you. So, I'm actually doing great. Looks like you had a rough night, though. <laughs> yep. <gasps> Fuck, she knows now. I told you! I knew it! I knew it! I'm gonna pick him! Cause he saw his heart. It'd be bad if Bella saw you. I was not expecting that. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, wow. That was such a good episode. We got so much good information out of that, guys. Holy crap, okay. So no longer calling him Gigi, we will now be officially calling him Hunter, his real name. Wow, that was a lot to take in. I'm really gonna stick with that Balos theory. Still calling him Balos, Balos, whatever, just deal with it. I'm really gonna stick to that theory though. I think that's what's going on. That's what my brain's kind of configuring here. I see a lot of other people have a lot of other uh, theories and ideas and stuff. I love reading about them. So keep commenting about those, what you guys think. Any ideas on what uh, Luce is gonna carve? I have no guesses at this point. I'm gonna wait and see and figure it out um, and try and see if there's any hints or anything. I don't know, uh, but I'm very excited to see what she eventually comes up with. I'm also calling, I think Amity is that hooded 
moon and star character. We've got those two things giving a little bit of, of, of hint towards that. So I hope that is the case. That would be really cool. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This episode was absolutely amazing. I'm excited for the next one. Bummed we didn't get any Amity in this episode, but I totally understand why. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts for art and polls and other cool stuff. Let me know in the live chat or in the comments below what you guys are feeling. What are you excited about next? I'm so excited for next week. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!